Hi friends, welcome back to Keeping Up With Miss Electra. And today, I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful, gorgeous, spring two-tier um, floral arrangement, floral butterfly arrangement, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna teach you how to make this and everything, every single thing is from the Dollar Tree. So everything is from the Dollar Tree and I love the way it turned out and it looks, it doesn't look like it's from the Dollar Tree guys, right? It looks so pretty, it's like whimsical and springy. I just love the way it came out and this would be a beautiful display for the spring. This would be beautiful for Easter too. You can use this for Easter too. You could just add a little bunnies or even a little lamb would be pretty. I would like that, I would like to put like a little lamb there. And I don't know, I'm gonna be in a hunt for a little lamb, maybe at Michael's. But if you wanna make it um, for Easter, all you do is you can put these pretty little white bunnies. They're inexpensive, you can find them in Michael's. And um, you can actually take the bunnies they have at the Dollar Tree and just spray paint that white. So this is pretty, they're inexpensive. These are inexpensive, they're so little and um, I think these are pretty too. If you want to make it look Easter-y, you could just put a little bunny in there. Look how pretty the bunny looks. And then you could put this other bunny up here, the one that's lying down. So if you want to make it Easter-y, right there, guys. It's perfect. It's beautiful for Easter display, a beautiful Easter brunch. I think this is very beautiful to put in the middle of your table. I would love it or anywhere you want. So this is pretty. Right now I'm gonna show you how I put this together and how I made it. All right, okay, this is what you're gonna need for the DIY. You're gonna need these two plates. I like these plates because they're pretty flat. So you need two of those. You need two candlesticks. I bought two or three just in case. I don't know if I wanted it to be a little higher. So you need these flowers with the um, Butterflies, they're the onion grass with butterflies. They're really, really pretty. They even look pretty like this. Ooh. There's another flower. Okay. These are the onion grass with butterflies. They're very, very pretty. I like them. They're even pretty just to put in a, in a vase like this. Then you're gonna need these little birdies. They're really, really cute. These birdies are from the flower, in the flower section, but it's like where the butterflies and stuff are. That's where I found these. So you're gonna need these cute little birds. You're going to need these little um, clay pots. I guess that's what they're called. Three comes in um, one pack, so that's really good. Then you're gonna need some butterflies. Even though I got those with the butterflies, I just got extra because maybe I want more butterflies. I didn't know. So butterflies, and then you're gonna need the um, The rain moss and the floral moss. I like this too. This one's nice. And you're going to need a little foam square. All right. And then I got like other little flowers. I got like the little um, the lavender too that they have at the Dollar Tree. So you can get other little little flowers that you like to your liking. You put glue around the rim. So I'm placing it just like this. I'm not making it so tall. And try to center it. This looks like the center. That looks like the center. And then you're going, okay, just put glue around. This one I'm putting upside down. Okay, right there. And then just put glue right here. Try to center it, okay? So right here you have the two tier. Okay, the little sponge is gonna go on the top. Now, this sponge, I'm going to curve it on the sides to make it look like a hill. So I got my knife. This knife is from the Dollar Tree too. It's, like, it's for the fruit. So all you're gonna do is just cut the corners 
try to make it like as round as possible. Okay, so I kind of curved it to make it look like a hill. And um, it's a little messy, so be careful. You don't have to make it. You don't have to make it so per perfect because it's going to get covered up, and it gets a little messy. So be careful. Make sure you do you cut it at a place that you don't care that it gets messy, and kind of like watch your eyes <laughs> because it kind of went in my eyes. All right. So we're gonna place this up here. Can you guys see? All right, so we're going to place it up here. You can put it actually a little further back or wherever you want. I'm going to put this right in the middle because this is going to be our little hill. All right, so put some glue and put it right in the middle. And then you're going to take, um, you can take the reindeer moss and we're going to put the moss all around the hill. Put glue, put enough glue. I did, I put a lot of glue and then I put the moss on top. So, I'm gonna just stick it like that on there. Just do it all around. So do that all around the whole little hill that we created. All right, so this is our hill. And um, I recommend you're gonna do this because it's a little hard because it's on the two tier. Just take the plate and work with it because you're gonna wanna move around. This one I can't bend it over. So it was a little difficult. So do the plate and this first and then put it on the, um, the tier. All right, so we got our hill. Our hill is beautiful. Our hill is alive. So now it's waiting for our beautiful flowers and butterflies to go on it. All right. So, you're going to look at it, you're going to see if you like it, or if you want to put more, more moss. So, I'm going to put a little more because I want more. Alright, alright, we have this too. I don't know if I'm going to use this. Let's see. We could use a little of it, I guess, like around, just like that. I think we could use a little of it. Okay. So here you have it. I put it up and I put it down. And if you want to paint these, you can paint it. I want to leave it clear, but you can paint the plates and, um, and the candlesticks white or whatever color you like. But I left it like that. All right. So now you're going to start decorating the way you, you know, like. So I got these little clay pots so I just started putting the clay pots like down here and um, you can even like um, break the little pots if you want to make it look a little more whimsical and very um you know like the gnomes and stuff you know how they decorate the little fairy garden you can do that all right so we got our little um, <coughs> pots You could even put a pot up there. You could put a pot down there. So right now, you're going to start playing around. Okay, before we start playing around, the, the important part is I'm gonna teach you how, um, I wanna show you how to make the butterfly on top with the grass. Okay, so before we start moving forward. So 
right here I am going to cut this all the way up here I'm not going to use all this down here just don't throw it away because you can use it for another project so that's what I do I save it so right now And right here you want to see how long you want your grass you know maybe you're gonna want it really really long like really high up but I didn't do it too high I did about up to here take your butterflies out right here I'm cutting the butterflies out and make some a little taller a little shorter all right so over here I cut the the little butterflies just put them on the side and then just start cutting the grass Okay, you see the grass right here? So, see how tall you want it. So when you cut these on the top, make sure you have a grip to it because then they're going to all just like scatter all over. So, this is how I did it. Right here, you're going to put glue. And you're going to put the grasses like sparingly where you want them or where you think they look good. All right. so over here you can see we made the little grass so over here we made the little grass it looks pretty you can put other stuff if you want or if you have any other ideas that would make a nice grassy look so right here we have now our grass this is like our focal point so we got that done so now we can just start decorating and putting where you want your butterflies or whatever you're choosing so Okay, so here it is. So I'm gonna explain what I did. So I put the butterflies like I told you, and then I put the birds. I put one bird here and one bird over here. And then I put another butterfly down here. I was playing around and see where I like everything to be placed. Then I stuck another butterfly, and um, now what I'm doing is these flowers, everything's from the Dollar Tree. I don't know what these are called. They're always there. I'm picking the smaller, smaller ones. They come off so easy, and I'm going to stick them now. I'm going to stick all those tiny little flowers around. You don't need to do, I think it's it's fine like this, but I'm going to just add a little more um, flowers to this. All right, so that's what I'm doing now. All right, guys, here you have it. This is um, how I made this beautiful two-tier spring and Easter um display it could be a centerpiece i think it came out really really pretty it's very dainty it's very delicate i really like the butterflies that came with um those onion grass i think they're so delicate and very pretty and very dainty so i try to keep it like very like um soft dainty delicate even those little um birdies from the dollar tree are like so dainty and delicate so i think everything went great together because they're they're soft and they you know complement they complement each other i think you know so that's why even those little flowers that i put around they're very dainty they they kind of like all just fit in together so yeah so you can find every single thing from the dollar tree and you guys can make this and it is so pretty I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, 
If you like my two tier, give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys make this, I really want you guys to show me. So if you do make it, and because I like to see everyone's ideas, so if you make this, please send it to me. I want to see it because I find that very fun. I love stuff like that. So yeah, so if you're new to my channel and you like my DIY, I have more DIYs coming up. So if you're new, subscribe and share my video. I will see you in my next video and I hope you always remember to keep designing life. Bye! All right, so here's a closer look. I think it looks so pretty. Whimsical. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a closer look so you can see how pretty it really looks.